time when the world is facing unprecedented challenges. Whether it's the air that we breathe, the water that we're drinking, or the climate that we're facing. We're coming into a time when we expect to have over 9 billion people living on the planet, more and more requiring to live better and better lives. I believe that science is really the way to address these unprecedented challenges that we face. 3M is unique on a couple different dimensions. One is we're a science-based company, and so everything we do is designed in science and based on, on science. The second aspect that makes us unique is our collaborative culture. It helps our innovation model, for instance, because it helps collaboration. We get better ideas, we get more distinctive ideas, differentiated ideas, but also it helps us collaborate so that we make sure that we're bringing the best of 3M to our customers all the time. Sustainability at 3M is huge. We realized very early that sustainability can actually create business advantages for you as well as doing the right thing. And I think innovation matches that very well because sustainability is always pushing you to the next level, trying to do the next thing. And that fits very well with an innovation model in which you're trying to create differentiated solutions. We really wanted to push our product developers and our, our business and our new product launches to think about sustainability and how they can impact the world and really our customers. With 50,000 plus products around the world, we now have a commitment in place that every new product we launch will have a sustainability value commitment. That means that from the very earliest stages of new product development, the ideas around sustainability must be considered. So if we're making a sustainability value commitment, we're actually impacting the sustainability output of our customers and therefore the entire value chain. And so our impact can be magnified a lot of our materials are now becoming more recyclable. We make roofing granules that can eat smog or convert smog and eventually reduce harmful emissions from cars and, and industry as well. We make air filtration, so you can imagine filters in smokestacks, but also filters for people or respirators for people. Thinsulate, it's a thin insulation used to keep things warm, uh, or in some cases to keep things cool. It's, it's a product that was born in the 70s, um, and it's been used from uh, gloves, to ski jackets, to hats, uh, pants, shoes, to even shelters uh, for either just tents or military use even. One of the secret sauce behind our, our Thin Slate product is that we use uh, microfibers. So the fibers are a certain diameter compared to other insulating materials. Um, so again, it's, it's probably around how to use less materials to provide the same performance. I think the, the, the main portion of the circular economy is now we're using that uh, in eliminating single-use plastic and, and basically it's, it's sort of from bottles and now it's being recycled and now it's going to make your jacket uh, warm. And the other thing we're evaluating is what happens to the end of life of a jacket. So what happens to the insulation material uh, after you're done using the jacket. One way is to find a different application for it. But, but another way is to figure out how to get it back into, into the earth where it came from. One of the examples in the product trails is related to a product that people all around the world probably take for granted. It's our Scotch-Brite scouring sponges. Our teams have gotten together and identified that instead of traditional fibers, we could go with 100% recycled fibers. When we're talking about Scotch-Brite, that's everybody's go-to product. And we know, I mean, a lot of our consumer works says that consumers want, want products that have a sustainable attribute, whether it's the recycled fibers or recycled packaging, but they don't want to give up any scouring or cleaning performance. So we knew they wanted to give them a sustainable product that worked exactly like the product they had before. It's not as easy as just replacing one RM to the next. We needed the reformulation to find that whole construction with all the different moving parts. When you change one piece, it kind of changes the way the whole system interacts. So there's you know, the coating on there and the embrace that we put in to find that whole construction with all the different moving parts and that to make sure that the performance was the same. One of the things that I enjoy most about working as a leader in sustainability at 3M is how passionate our employees are around sustainability. There's nothing probably bigger than susta the sustainability challenges today. So I think there's a lot of 3Mers that are inspired and, and really passionate about trying to solve some of those problems because they're tough challenges, they're tough problems. 
and we want to solve tough problems. We were extremely excited when the United Nations brought forward their 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And they're very well aligned with goals that we have as a corporation. And all of these things are pieces that, yes, we need to do individually, as individuals, as corporations, but the real impact comes when we partner with others. We recognize that we have the opportunity to make tremendous impacts. We are committed to making those impacts on our own, and we're committed to partnering with others to help expand that impact to more and more communities and more and more industries.